Oh oh, you're gonna lose your cush there, mate. <laughs> Do you think he does eat? Any ideas? Uh, mice. Nuts. Exactly. Just mice. We give him uh, baby rats, baby mice, and uh, baby chickens. Oh, variety. Yeah. More, more variety than that. Right. Oh, I think him. She gets me. She just wants to see something to look around. Because so, he knows that things like gulls and jackdaws and pigeons and things all sit around. Uh, a gang of pigeons isn't going to do anything to him, but a gang of jackdaws yeah. absolutely. A gull weighs about 15, 20 times as much as he does. A gull will quite easily smack him out. So, so he's, he's very careful. He's watching his watching his Well, are they really native clever. to here then? No, these are from India and Pakistan. So oh, wow. he's not it's a native Indian, so Indian so Scop. S C O P S Scop. Uh, he's full grown. Wild diet would be similar to what we get in any other ocean of vertebrates. Yeah. Um, these guys are fully nocturnal. So when you look at the oh. eyes, you can see the eyes are dark. Right? Yeah. If it's got dark eyes, it's, it's a nocturnal owl and there's not a lot of those. If it's got yellowish, brownish, tannish sort of eyes, yeah. it's active at dawn and dusk, which is crepuscular. Right? And if it's got pale eyes, which we do have another owl, uh, she's, she's a fully diurnal bird, um, but just like us, active during the day, like it has quite well. Most owls are active at dawn and dusk. It's because most of their prey is active at dawn and dusk. That's, that's why. Because these guys, they don't eat salads, darling. They eat chickens and mice and voles and shrews and things like that. Oh, little baby animals. Yeah, the fluffy thing. things, the fluffy are the better. <laughs> the fluffy is better. Yeah. Yeah. You like chicken though, don't you? Oh, chicken's not bad, isn't it? Do you reckon Nana's so, seen it, that one before? No. Yeah, Does anything try and eat then? Um, in the wild, other larger dogs will eat them, yeah, quite happily. Um, it's, it's, the, need, the wild's not a utopia, you know, it's a really difficult place to live. Yeah. Um, lots of animals in, in a zoo setting tend to live far longer than they yeah. do in the wild. Yeah. Um, the, the biggest factor in that is stress, because living in the wild is stressful. Constantly trying to find food, trying to find territory, trying to find a mate, trying not to get eaten, and that's when you start to talk about disease, yeah. injury, all these different things, climate change, human can hear you. What can you, hear, <coughs> you can hear something. Well, you can definitely hear all of us chatting away, you can hear those yeah. because screaming away, yeah, that's the bus. Oh, you can hear them, can't you? Music. You can probably hear, I mean, you can definitely hear the waterfall. Um, it's, it's hard to quantify because obviously we can't perceive it in the same way that you can, that they can. Um, but one thing about the hearing is that our ears are on the same level and their ears are just ever so slightly offset. And that means that the sound reaches one ear quicker than it does the other. It's like split seconds. But That's it helps them precisely spot, or precisely uh, gauge where any sound is coming. Oh, it's like an quite, quite a common thing. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's so fascinating. Little things are so like intelligent and clever. This, this wee fella here, um, the, the amount of tools, weaponry, the things that he's got to survive, that are just top, top players. Yeah, 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 yeah. um, you, you mentioned a bit, a bit clever. Uh, he's not. He's not very clever. Oh, oh bless him. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there, yeah. I can relate. Um, but there's so, a few yeah. reasons. A few <laughs> reasons. Um, uh -huh. I mean, these tufts on his head, they're, they're nothing to do with hearing, they're, they're more for uh -huh. display. Uh, he likes a lot too. Well um, his, his head is about the size of a grape, roughly. Um, mm. His eyes are very large, obviously, because he needs to see the dark. He's got very, very complex hearing as well. He's got a big old beak on him too. Um, and when you've got all that in there, there's not that much room left for brain. You know, that his <laughs> brains are about the size of a... Oh, know, like a baked bean, like a yeah. pea, yeah, yeah, like a little bit of barley or something like that. Um, oh, because it's, it's all to do with processing information. <laughs> and then he's got these very strong claws, per for his size. You know, I, I'm just wearing my glove for show, sure, really. Um, it's because I can leash him to my glove and I don't need to worry about it. Um, but he's, he's got not more than enough strength to kill the things he has to kill. Can't hurt me. No. Um, more than enough strength to do what he has to do. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's awesome. That's amazing. Thank you very much You're for welcome, talk, sir. That's, cool. That's, That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, he's amazing. cool, isn't he? That's pretty. What was his name again? Zach. 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 Yeah, Zach. Zach. He's great. We love him. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you, Kenny. You're welcome. You're welcome.